Why are founders agreements so important for startups? Most people come to lawyers after they've had a falling out with founders, whether it's a huge disagreement or where they feel unfairly treated. By that time, it's too expensive and complicated to resolve the issue. The main purpose of a founders agreement is to prevent these issues from happening and preemption the common issues. These are the top three things we think matters. One, shareholders agreement versus founders agreement. If you're a startup, we recommend entering into a founders agreement first. A shareholders agreement is typically designed with the assumption that roles have been clearly defined and the business direction is fixed. But when you're a startup testing a new idea, you'll likely pivot several times before setting your final direction. We think it makes sense to nail down your shareholders agreement once your MVP is set. Two, KPIs. Many startups start as a side hustle and a top complaint is that one founder is putting in more effort than another and deserves more recognition. We can avoid this disgruntled feeling by setting out clear KPIs from the start. A good founders agreement sets out what is expected of each founder and how their performance is judged. So it becomes clear when guy X doesn't perform to standard and the consequences should be spelt out too, be it a replacement of the founder, a change of roles, or less shares being vested in his name when the company incorporates. Three, ownership. Remember the movie The Social Network about Facebook, which could either be fictitious or non-fictitious? The last thing you'd want is to be booted out of an idea you built. So make it clear from the start, whatever is created is owned collectively. We do that by including an IP clause and appropriate restrictions on everyone's behavior. Then make it clear who owns what and in what percentages and how these percentages could evolve over time if expectations are not met. Every great story has an ending, whether a good one, a bad one, or a meh mediocre one. Paint these scenarios in your founder's agreement and what each ending means for you. If everyone lives happily ever after, we could incorporate a company to get some VCs on board. But if things turn into a nasty divorce, see this document as a prenuptial agreement that sets out the asset distribution and who gets custody over the baby, your company. We hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to drop us any questions using the link below.